Hey YouTube world, hope you're all doing well and welcome back to another episode of Casa Industries where today we are jumping back on the VY Calais skid car. Let's go through and I'll show you what we're doing. So here we go guys, it has been a couple of months since you've seen this thing on the channel. Nothing has happened with this car during that time, it has not been to any events or anything like that. Um, the whole reason why we, we built this car was essentially to just have fun with it and use it for thrashing around a track and doing skids and stuff. Uh, but unfortunately the local track here in East Gippsland has uh, closed down. Oh, well, that's a rumor anyway, because there has not been any events happening there. Um, and as a result, we haven't had a chance to get this thing out on track. So it has literally just been sitting under the back carport for the last two or three months um, since we last worked on it, it hasn't moved. Basically what we're gonna do though, so many years ago, I was involved in drifting for quite a few years and it was something that I really, really loved as, as a motorsport. And it's something that I would not mind getting back into a little bit. Um, here and there. Uh, I've got a couple of friends who have recently started getting into it and I've been to Melbourne to um, support them and it's sort of giving me the itch. I am well aware that this is an Auto V6 Commodore and it is probably the worst choice of car to use for drifting. Um, whether we even get this down to Melbourne to, to put it on, on the track, uh, I don't even know that's going to happen, but we've got some stuff so we're just going to throw some more parts at it just for fun. Uh, the first thing we're going to do, um, so if you, have, if you have not watched the build series on this, please make sure you do so. It has, we have done a few things to it that would help it for drifting. So it's got a V8 diff with 411 gears and a full spool. Um, it's got a manualized auto. Um, it's got uh, tie rod extenders on the steering rack uh, for about 20% more angle. And the alignment has all been set up to uh, how I would want the alignment to be for a car for drifting. Um, all the suspension bushes have also been changed to nolithane and it does have a thicker rear sway bar in it as well. Springs and shocks are still standard though for now. Uh, but what we're going to do today is put a hydraulic handbrake in it. Well, we're going to, we're going to start to anyway. So let's get the thing up on the hoist, bust the back wheels off and I'll show you what we're doing right as my phone rings. Alrighty. So what we're going to do is we're going to try and start at the back of the car on the back brakes uh, by fitting a second set of calipers. So what I did is I got Jason to go back out to his parents' farm. I don't know if you guys remember that VT Commodore we bought to put pinch the engine out of to put in this. Well, yeah, we've still got it. Um, so I got Jason to go out there and pinch basically everything for the rear brakes from the master cylinder back. So the hydraulic brake line, the calipers, caliper brackets and all that. So he's dropped all that stuff off. Here's the hard lines here. I don't know if we'll get to that today. Um, and I've got a pair of rear calipers, which I've just put a rebuild kit through. And by rebuild kit, I've painted them, which is as good as a rebuild kit gets. So that's that. Uh, here's the pads out of them. The pads are fairly new, so we're just going to go ahead and reuse them. And what we've got is through Showtime Customs, we've got these caliper bracket, um, secondary caliper brackets that you weld onto the rear knuckles. This little guy, you just sort of bolt on to position it and hold them in place while you weld it. And then you remove that and you can pull your calipers on. So what we are going to do is just remove the brake caliper, uh, one for, for the actual brakes. We'll pull the disc off and we'll pull the backing plate off. Okay, so we've got the factory brake caliper and rotor off. Uh, the rotor's just sort of chilling down there. Uh, this is the handbrake shoe here that works on the inside of the disc for the factory handbrake. The secondary caliper for the hydraulic handbrake gets sort of mounted up here where this, um, where this section of the backing plate is. So what we're going to go through and do now is remove the brake shoe and the bolts that are inside there. It's four bolts. So we'll go through and take all of them off and remove the backing plate and the handbrake shoe. Uh, and we'll also remove the clip from the brake line uh, off the backing plate uh, so we can get to the area where we need to weld those brackets on. Alrighty, this is where we're up to. I've just uh, unbolted all of the handbrake stuff and I've just left the two upper bolts on there for the backing plate while I trimmed it all up. So I've cut the top section off and just sort of like rounded off these corners and soft stuff just to make it look a little bit nicer. So now I'll pull those bolts off, pull this forward and we can prep up this surface across here um, to get it ready to weld on those brackets. All right, so I've got this bracket bolted on and the caliper bracket in position, all ready to be welded. Obviously once it's all welded, you just completely disregard this bracket that, that comes in the kit and you can just sort of reassemble it. So I'll go ahead and get these burnt in both sides. Um, and once that's done, we'll just clean up the weld with a wire brush, paint it black, 
then we can start reassembling stuff. All right, got these brackets bolted in both sides and given them a bit of square of black paint. So that's sort of how they look. So we can start putting it back together. I already put this side back together, just sort of without the extra caliper. Obviously that tied onto the backing plate, but cause that's not there now, we'll have to figure out a way of retaining that. Most likely with cable ties. So that's what that sort of looks like. Not really much light in there. But with that sort of like that, you'd sort of be none the wiser. So we'll get this side back together as well. Don't ever do this guys. Don't leave your calipers hanging. I don't usually do this, but given what this car is, I'm just sort of rushing and being lazy, but don't ever do that. Don't let your brake lines, uh, your brake calipers hang on the rubber hoses. Do as I say, not as I do. Anyway, we'll get this side back together, get all that back on, and then we'll try and get those extra calipers bolted in. All right, guys and girls, we're all back together as far as calipers and rotors go. So that's all gone together quite well. I just um, pulled the slides out and re-greased them for the handbrake. So yeah, quite happy with how that's turned out. Everything all spins and rotates as it should. So what we're gonna do now, I'm actually gonna handball it to Jason cause he's the one that pulled these brake lines out of the VT this morning. So I'm gonna get him to start laying all this stuff in. Now, one thing that we'll, that's worth saying is um, the VT being a non ABS car, the rear brake lines go to this sort of T piece here and then it goes to one hard line all the way to the front of the car. Whereas on ABS vehicles, it's got two separate hard lines that run to the ABS module and then one hard line from the ABS module to the rear port on the master cylinder. Oh, take a breath. So anyway, I'm gonna get Jason to start running all that in. He's just gonna run it sort of alongside the factory brake lines and um, just sort of cable tie it up and whatnot. And then we'll see where we're gonna go from there. Cool beans. So we've got all of the lines sort of run. I've just sort of followed them roughly along where the other ones run. So that's the factory line there. And I've just put this one a little bit out further, a bit of a cable tie to the old handbrake line. And then they just sort of follow each other up all the way across, across there, into the junction block up there. And then they just run all the way forward above this tray here. And I've just sort of poked it up behind that um, brace there for now, and it's just hanging out in the engine bay but we'll probably pull it, end up pulling it back out of there and put a hole in the floor, maybe around here or something. I think that's probably where the footrest is, but I don't know, we'll figure it out and we'll end up sticking that um, hard line through the floor. But um, that's sort of run for now. So looking good. In case you're wondering how it looks through the wheels with both calipers on, that's sort of how it looks. I'm digging it. What do you think, Jace? I love it. it looks like one big caliper. It really does actually depending on the orientation of the spoke. Too bad when stockies are on it, you're not gonna see any of that. But anyway, happy with that, that's turned out quite well. That's gonna just about do it for today, guys. Thanks for watching. We will pick this up very, very shortly. Uh, and the, I don't know, in the future, I don't know if it'll be the next video or not, where we'll finish doing the install on that handbrake stuff. Uh, but if you wanna see more stuff like this, and if you like what you see, please always remember to like and subscribe. And until I see you in the next video, take care, be safe, and we'll see you soon.